Did they do it again? <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. I'm not going to lie. I, my mind just went blank there for a minute. Anyway. Back again with the Disney Plus movie. Ain't no Disney Plus, like, premium movie, though. So it ain't no extra $30. It's just a regular Disney Plus original movie. And it just so happens to be Pixar again. Why are they doing Pixar like this? Why, why, why is Disney doing Pixar so dirty? This is the second straight Pixar movie that has come straight to Disney Plus, and not even for like the extra thirty dollars. Oh, like Mulan came for the extra thirty dollars. Uh, Cruella, Black Widow's about to. I get Black Widow. I like Cruella, but I ain't gonna pay no extra thirty dollars. <laughs> I mean, chill, nigga. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> So, Luca is basically about this little sea monster kid, you know, um, wanders off doing kid shit, uh, and then runs into this other sea monster uh, named Alberto, who's like this, like, loner kid, or, like, he's off on his own, and he brings him up to the shore. Now, when you see monsters pop out of the shore and they get dry, they turn into humans. If they get wet again, they'll turn back into sea monsters. So Luca, this young, naive boy, you know, he's seeing the shore for the first time and shit. He's popping out of the water. He's running around. He's trying to learn how to walk and run. He's having a good time, right? And then so Luca, Alberto, they out there just doing the human things during the day. And then back at night, Luca goes back home under water to his family. And then one day, Alberto comes to him like, hey, you know how we've been doing our thing, you know, out of the water here for a bit. You got your land legs now, you know, you run in. We have this thing called a uh, Zespa or whatever. It's like an Italian motorbike. And they're trying to build one of those because they have dreams of leaving this place and like, and like driving wherever their heart sets and shit like that, right? Um, but yeah, Alberto's like, Luca, you know, since you got your land legs and shit, let's go over there. And over there is like the seaside of some Italian town. Um, I think it was Porto Rosso or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I've never been. I probably never will. Uh, but yeah, so they get to like civilization in like this town. And just craziness ensues. You know, they're meeting people. They're meeting kids. They're trying to like not show that they're sea monsters and stuff there's this like race cup it's called the Puerto Rosso cup where they swim eat pasta and then ride a bike so it's like a marathon it's it's, it's a little weird because I was like okay so you start off swimming and then you eat pasta and then you ride a bike up a hill and then down a big ass hill and then whoever finishes first wins and yeah there's really no, like, serious antagonist in here or no, like, grand adventure. It's a story about friendship. These two kids meeting each other, you know, having differences when they go on to land because they're not humans, but they turn into humans. They're trying to hide, like, um, certain, I guess, things that humans would find, like, like, what's it called dysfunctions like something wrong with with you and like the whole like meaning of the movie and say or the underlying message is like um just because someone's different like like don't treat people badly just because they're different which is you know it's bare minimum for for fucking pixar i'm sorry y'all motherfuckers have set standards so high this just didn't do it like it just didn't do it for me you guys have been so consistently great that when you crank out something that is slightly above average, it ain't up to snuff compared to you guys. Like, um, if this was any other animation studio, 
maybe besides DreamWorks, this would be one of their like better animated films that they've probably ever made. <laughs> um, so it's still like there's still quality here. It just ain't your typical Pixar quality. So I give it about like around where the good dinosaur was. And I did not like the good dinosaur, man. Not at all. So, but it's a cute film. It's charming. Like, I don't really want to bag on it too much. You know, the visuals. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This movie looks gorgeous. I actually felt like for, for like some like scenic shots or like animated scenes, it looks fucking real. Oh my god, damn. But just like I sh I should have felt more. I should have felt something. <laughs> no, like seriously. Like when they get to that Pixar moment, you know, cuz Pixar always has these moments of like damn. <laughs> Y'all niggas made me cry like they always had that moment. It gets to that moment. Um and then it just fleets on by. Like, there's a moment where, like, oh, shit, we getting kind of serious here. All right, this is the Pixar shit that I've been waiting for. Five minutes later, everything's fine. And then it gets to, like, all right, this is the big moment, though. Huh. I should feel something more. And I just didn't. And that's unfortunate, but I still... I would recommend it, especially if you have kids... If you're a fan of Pixar films, it's a good pick-me-up movie. It's easy to watch and, di and digest, but it's just not up there with some of the other Pixar movies for me. But, you know, that's no fault because these other Pixar movies have been, like, A-pluses. But, yeah, you know, that's that. So, arf, arf.